there are four methods used in set operations and here in the union the all the elements of both the sets uh, no duplicate is allowed and are returned and similarly in the intersection the common element of among the both the sets are returned and in the difference only the uncommon elements of uh, first main set is returned and in the symmetric difference uncommon elements of both the sets are returned let us try uh, with the union operator will write a the vertical bar or pipe union b this operator we have used let us run this this 3 is the common element but 3 is displayed once only so this is the union operator we have used now let us use the union method we will go here and instead of using operator we will use union now we will say b fine a union b now the same output we will get we can apply uh, union operator to more than two sets also here are three sets we will apply our uh, print to this uh, print command with uh, union operator a union b union c you can see with this the output will not will have once only a is there and uh, all other elements of b and c are there we can use any iterable object for the uh, along with the uh, set union method now let us uh, create one uh, we will take a string let us say lx now we will use print a now union b now here b is a string so string is a treble object so we can use this let us see what is the output is you can see the all the elements of the string are used and a union method returned the all elements after removing the duplicates while using iterable object we cannot use the union operators so let us try another iterable object that is uh, list so we will take this now let us b should be a list for us so we will sorry we will take a list now now what you are taking is uh, a now x x and y now we'll write print a union b now b is a uh, iterable object list so this is how the union output is it can take any iterable object but that, uh, every time we have to use the union method not the union operator let us understand the intersection. Intersection gives the common element between two sets. Here are two sets A and B. Here uh, A, there is a common element of 3 is only the common element. Let us see what the output is. A intersection now we are going B. So, let us run this and see the output because 3 because 3 is the only intersection now we can also check the output by using what is the output by using type so let us copy this code paste this now print data type we will get now it is a now intersection now here here the intersection is a ampersand b so let us see what the intersection is the operator is ampersand here you can see its output is a set here we have used the uh, ampersand operator that will give us the intersection between the two sets we can use the operator for multiple sets also let us uh, try we will are giving a now let us say b we will give c fine now one more this is so let us put a now y anything you can give the here x now one more set will take you can extend it if required now we are keeping intentionally common one column element and other things are we are keeping it different elements so let us print a uh, b ampersand c so intersection is sorry c uppercase now the intersection of this three set is it should get a yes this is the output now similarly let us try intersection using string 
So, so when we are using string, we can't use uh, uh, the operators. Will you have to use the method directly? So let us uh, copy this. But we'll little extend with more words now. Now let us keep add one x. These are extra elements we have added. Now in in place b set is a string now. Any iterable it will support. So now let us print a intersection b. So this output will get it. See x is the common element. Here it is there and rest others are not common. You can add something more also. Let us say we will add uppercase a. Now we will intersection will give us two elements yeah, a and x. So, when when you are using string or any iterable object, we have to use the method. We cannot use the operator because that will generate error for us. In this place, this will generate error. Let us see that a ampersand b. Now, this is not allowed. You can see will it will give us an error. Fine, unsupported type. Now, let us move a bit more. We will go for a list now. We will copy this paste it here. Now, b is a list now. So, this is a iterable also. So, we will use the iterable method now. Now, our list is say we will keep a common. Now, let us keep x. Now, let us go for z. What is a intersection? Now, print a inter intersection b. Let us we are using a list b is a list not a set. So, any iterable we can use. So, x and a are the intersection of a and b now. So, far in inter, uh, by using intersection we have created new elements or sorry new sets. Now, let us uh, by use another method intersection update which will update the our main set or a. So, let us try that here I am just pasting it here. Let us go bit up and intersection update, intersection update. So, now by using this, we will not print this. Now, we will print a after this. So, a intersection update b print. Now, a will change. Let us see what is happening. Yeah, a is changed now. The original uh, set a is changed with the output now. We will understand the difference method. We will use the minus operator for this. Let us start the code. Uh, we have, uh, we will take two sets again as before 1, 2, 3. Sorry, here, okay, fine. B set is equal to again, we will use 3, 4, 5. So, now the difference between these two a minus b. So, let us run this and see the difference. So, the difference method returns us 1, 2. So, here the common element 3 is here the 3 is removed and in the main set is a. So, when you take the difference it the common element is removed and the uncommon element of the main set is returned. Now, we similarly we can let us go for a string also. We will Roll down a bit. Okay, fine. Now let us try go for strings. Let's say we'll start with A, B, C. Similarly, B set is our. Let's keep a common element A. Now Y. Now Z. So print A difference b. What is the, now we have used the difference method. So, we can see b c we got it. If similarly, we can use uh, more than one set also. Let us try that. So, we will use go here paste it. Okay, we will take uh, one more c. Now, here we will use one common we are keeping. Now, we will go for b. Now, let us say l. Print 
we are using operator now we can use b c now let us run this here we got c only because a b when the first two these two are the common so balance is c now here we take it uh, take it with the other uh, third set here the uh, difference is c now so all, among the all the three we are getting the difference as uh, c only so let us go to another we will we'll try to use a string now so when we, we use a string we can't use a operator here also so you have to go for the method let us copy this uh, we'll put it here now uh, we'll go a little extend this we'll add two more elements fine now b is no more a set it's a string now now we'll say print a difference b it's a b any iterable ob uh, object we can take it so you have taken a string string is a one of a iterable object but you can't use the operator here fine so this is the output we will get so when you are using it now uh, we can use here also a list can be used also let's uh, try that we have checked it in while using union so b is a list now we will make it a a now sorry a let us say x, let us say y. Now, what we will print is print a difference b. b is a iterable object, we have used a list now. So, we got b and c. Now, so that now here all the time you are seeing that uh, a new uh, set is returned or new set is created. Now, we can modify the original set by using difference update. Difference update method will take, uh, will modify the our A set. Let us copy this, use paste it here. Instead of difference, we will use another method difference update. Now, what this will do? This will change our original set A. So, let us run this and see. Sorry, here what we will do because you have to return it will return us it will not return anything but it will update our uh, a set so we will print our a set to check it how this update has affected our first set you can see now a e changes in all the previous cases where we are only using the difference method the set a is remains as it is you can see let us print a here you can see sorry after the updation let us check this so we have remove this from here put it print a now you can see it has not earlier the only difference method has not affected our original set a but here in this case it has changed the uh, changed the our set with a new value whatever the outcome is this is the basic difference between difference method and difference update method we will use cart operator to get the symmetric difference so let's take two sets now we will print a cart b so this will give us the symmetric difference is it will remove the common element from both the sets and return a set joining these two so you can see the common element is 3 so this is 3 is removed so 1 2 and 4 5 is returned so this is how a, a cart of using a cart operation symmetric uh, difference uh, we get it now we can use the method also so for uh, using the method let us use one string or better two strings we will use now let us say a we will keep b we will keep c now in the second one we will take we will take b in the set b we will keep one common element now we will say y now let us go put z right so print a now symmetric difference there is we'll use this now we will get the 
output as y b c z. So, a is removed what are the difference in after removing the common element b c and y z are taken and a set is returned. So, this is how we will use a symmetric difference. Now, it is not necessary that uh, we can use this, uh, we can use any iterate iterator object also. So, we will try with uh, using a string. Now, while using a string, we have to take care that we cannot use the operator, we have to use the method only. Sorry, let us first start with our set here A. Now, let us take it. We will go for a little more uh, element this time. So, because our string we are using. So, again y fine. Now, let us b is no more a set, it is a iter iterable object. So, we will use a string. Now, this is a string only. Now, now we will let us print, print a now symmetric difference b. So, let us see what the output is. See all this is the symmetric difference between a set and a string. So, but here we cannot use uh, operator. Now, our b also it can be a, a a list also. So, let us try that we can let us copy this code here put another code. Okay, B is no more a string, we will uh, we'll take a list. So, let us say A common element we have kept it, we will go for X, let us go for uh, Z. Run it, symmetric difference, okay, this is the output we got. Now, there is another method which is derived from this is symmetric difference update. As we have seen before, all these above methods or symmetric difference method gives us a new set. Now, symmetric difference update will not give us return as a new set, it will update the our main set or A. So, let us see how that works. Now, I have copied it, pasted it here. Now, here what I will do, I will use the method symmetric difference update. Fine. So, now you can see that here because this method will not return us anything, but it will update it. So, let us see how after updation, how is our first set. So, we will compare it now. Now, A set is changed. Now, whatever earlier we got it, now set A is replaced with the new elements. So, this is all about uh, set with all its methods. Next, we will move to our dictionary.